Facing one of the most difficult schedules in the nation, the Colonels knew this season would be a 12-week gauntlet. They would have to fight for every second of every snap from the first whistle of practice on Monday to the last whistle of the game on Saturday. And despite mounting adversity, they continue to push on. Already this season, the Colonels have lost their head coach and a mounting number of teammates to injuries while dropping their first eight games. With all of this weighing on the players, some of the coaches decided to slow things down a little and spend some quality time together as a team. So after practice last Thursday, the Colonels gathered for a family cookout. This is more something I th I'd like to do as a coach, as a head coach, uh, each year and just kind of take a break from the hard work, all the hard work put into a season somewhere around the middle or, or slightly after that in the season, just, just to get together, relax, and, and enjoy our friendship. The team was joined by former Colonels Shane Claybear and Brian Pyle, who arrived at Nichols during a dark period in his football history and helped pull the team together in 2005 to win the conference championship. The two spoke to the players before their meal, offering words of wisdom and support. We basically wanted to come out here and just let them know, tell them a little bit about what we went through and, uh, and, and how we were able to, to overcome it in our minds and, uh, and, 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 you know, encourage them because they can too. And that's, that's kind of all we wanted to come out here and encourage them to do. You know, just trying to tell them, hey, you know, we, we've got y'all back and, and we're out here every Saturday and, and we're cheering y'all on and the kids are here and your family's out there and, you know, you, you got your family names on the line and when you're out there, you're representing yourselves, you're representing your team, but you're also representing guys that came before you, you know, guys that did it, uh, have, have been in your shoes and walked the walk and, and just had to go through some of that adversity. And, and those are the type of things that carry you throughout your life. If you can, if you can face that adversity and come out successful, I think that's, uh, that's the accomplishment. Their words had not fallen on deaf ears, as several players said they were inspired by Pyle and Clay Bear's testimonies. Uh, them guys really gave some insight to how it was back then and like how much Nichols has really came from when they played. And uh, I always appreciate, you know, older wisdom and advice. You know, they told us how they started off kind of rough too, but, you know, they ended up coming together and finishing out strong. And I feel like we have the same opportunity to do that here. I'm thankful that there's people still out there, you know, that are standing behind us and everything. And it really means a lot and shows a lot. And I mean, I took some good advice from this. As the Colonels head into week nine, they carry with them the unyielding support of their family and friends, and of course, the Nichols Nation. For Colonel Football Weekly, I'm Jansen Verdan.